morning YouTubers, a uh, bit of the long gardener here, uh, uh, down at the allotment, just doing a little bit more stuff on the allotment. Uh, as I said the other day I have got plans, or I had plans for this year, all plans have changed again. Uh, so uh, I'm going to tell you, know, I'm going to show you what, where I'm up to and I'm going to explain my ideas and my reasoning behind it. So I'll just switch it around. Right, so yeah, so show you what, I'm, what I've decided to do. As I was saying, I was looking at giving up this plus here. I'm just going to turn you around, give you a look at this particular plus as it stands at the moment. There's me, um, me pond, my wild garden area. Uh, but anyway, what you'll notice here is the polytunnel has been moved. The raised beds have been taken up off this bed here. Now, uh, what I've decided to do, uh, because I've still got this plot for this year, is to basically uh, dig these areas over here, that one and that one, uh, and put in the potatoes. That still had potatoes in, so I've just uh, basically raked it down, got all the bits of rubbish off it. Uh, this one here, I've just um, put some more potatoes in that area. And this one was in the polytunnel, which has still got some uh, potatoes in there, so I've just left them in. Done a bit of a raking down, you can see the potatoes still in there. So uh, what I'll do is, come the uh, end of the season and what have you, I'll dig a lot of these potatoes up. Uh, but I thought what I might do is just keep this plus on, just for potatoes. I've got uh, these two beds that are covered over. I'm going to be taking the raised beds off here and moving them over there maybe. Or I might build a um, raised bed in... So I, have, well, I don't know yet. don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, so yeah, so that's those two beds covered over at the moment. This area here, uh, I'm not going to be bothering with whatsoever. I'm going to just leave this. It's got raspberries growing there. It's also got my Jerusalem artichokes in there. So... Uh, I'm going to uh, keep uh, harvesting, harvesting them. Uh, my rhubarb, I'm going to move, move my rhubarb with my apple tree at the end of the year. So that's that one anyway. I'm going to turn you around and take you over here. So as you can see over this side, there's the... Um, I'll just make sure that we're recording, yep. Uh, there's the polytunnel. I'm not going to put the plastic back on it. I'm going to cut that plastic off and I'm going to uh, use the green netting that I've got. I've got quite a bit of green netting so I'm going to cover that in green netting and probably do uh, potato, uh, not potatoes, um, cabbages and stuff like that in there. Uh, IBC is over there. Uh, my water butts. got my tub there with the netting in. Uh, this area here. Uh, I'm going to be building a shed here because the shed over the other side is uh, falling to bits. So I'm going to build a new shed in this area here. Uh, there's the plastic that was on the uh, polytunnel. I'm going to use that to cover beds with at the beginning of the season. So as I say, I was going to put that polytunnel over this bed. However, when we moved it over, it fitted right across that bed really well so we thought we'll leave it like that so this one's been filled or it's part filled with soil so just keeping that covered at the moment this bed here just weeded some of the sides um let that all die back and what have you and uh, get rid of all the muck when it's all done uh this has got flags here but it's got uh, grass growing through so what i've decided to do is just cover that just to kill the grass down for the time being. Uh, right, the apple tree I've decided if I don't keep that on I still want to keep my apple tree so at the end of the year that apple tree is going to be moved from there over to this bed here. So it's either going to go in that part there or over that part there. Or what I'm also going to do is I'm going to move my pear tree. So my pear tree there is going to come over to here as well. So that's the plan. So that'll still be like a fruit bed and I'll probably throw strawberries in there as well. 
so that'll be all strawberries not just be for fruit any sort of fruit and this one here will be for, probably for like onions and garlic uh, just rotate them each year uh, so as I say so that's the plan I've uh, put some flags down here uh, I've just got to chop off some of that cement on those flags there but I've got flags down here uh, so make it easier to walk on for the, the wife uh, I'm also if I move that um, tree from there what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that area up here so I'll have a gate here but I'll also have a gate here that'll make it easier for the wife when she comes down because of the path on the other side of that so it'll make it a lot more safer anyway so that's where we're up to uh, hope you can hear me uh, I'm just going through plans that I've got in my head as I say plans again may change but at this present moment the, the idea is just to recap keep that for potatoes um, keep this area for, just for potatoes um, and this for other stuff okay so gonna get going thanks for watching don't forget subscribe press that like button uh, press the bell and uh, keep on gardening bye